probably more than anybody else in this panel, you have a perspective about uh, music in Columbus. Is, is Columbus a music city? Um, well, that's, I, I was having a conversation earlier with Doug Kreindler, uh, I don't know if Doug's still here. Uh, Doug is the head of the Columbus Foundation. And the question is posed, how do we build a music city? And I, I'll be the first one to say, we are a music city. And All we right. just need to tell people we're a music city. <laughs> I mean, if we tell people something long enough and loud enough, well, then they'll believe it. We are a music city. You know, we've been, I mean, I've watched bands come through here. I've watched the local scene thrive and grow. I see the, the buy-in from the entrepreneurs that are, that are being funded by, you know, whatever programs they are. I don't see the musicians on the street struggling. I see them actually thriving. I see music venues open. I see Scully's, I see Ace of Cups, I see Kobo, I see these things coming, and I see more opening every day. So we are a music city. We just need to take credit for that fact. And, and, and I really don't believe that we have a problem with being a music city. I think we just need to coordinate our efforts just a little bit better, just a little bit better, and we are exactly what we want to be, a music city. We just need to get the people that are in charge of the city to say that. When they go out and say, we're an art city, we're, we're a cultural diversity, we're an open city. Mayor Coleman can stand right up there and say, we're a music city. And guess what? We are that. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I, I'm actually from Cincinnati. Um, I grew up there, played a lot of music. I used to come and play music up in Columbus a lot. And, I haven't been here in a long time, and I have to say, getting off the, the plane, it felt like that. Like, it feels like a music city. I was very, very surprised, and I can, couldn't agree with you more. So yeah, it's about taking that momentum and just pushing it more. It's, it's about infrastructure, I think, more than anything, getting the word out to the rest of the, the country and the world, really. So maybe what needs to happen is a really strong conversation with your mayor and your tourism department to promote what you guys have going on here musically so that the word is out. I mean, certainly this weekend is very special because outside of my hotel room, I hear music yeah. banging until, I don't know if it's like that every weekend or just- I, I, I actually don't even think we have to have a strong conversation. We just need to say, hey, when you promote us, promote us as a music city as well, yeah. and they'll do it. I mean, I know they will. The mayor will do it. The, the powers that be, experienced Columbus will do it. They, they really believe in everything that goes on in the city. And music is just part of the culture, the arts culture that is so ingrained in what makes Columbus great. Mm -hmm. So I just say we just need to take credit for the fact we are okay, well and coordinate the efforts. Get a group together to really seriously, you know, talk to the mayor and, and you know, and maybe you know the mayor personally, Mr. Coleman, and say, hey, do it, you know, speak about us as, as, as a music city. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a long-term marketing campaign. I mean, I'm in the biggest city of the country, in New York City, and we have a problem. We have a problem that people don't really always think of us as a music city, they think of us as Broadway. And, um, you know, there's, there's a big commission and a big tourist, uh, our, all of our tourist energy and efforts and money goes into promoting I Love New York Broadway. And, Meanwhile, we have this thriving independent music scene that happens down in Greenwich Village and in Williamsburg and in all the boroughs downtown. You know, there's tons of music. There's music schools and what have you. But it's not something that is promoted. We've never really focused on uh, trying to get a campaign going. And it wasn't until recently that we've just discovered, my God, we haven't been tuning our own horn. We haven't been reaching out to the right people and the politicos in our, in our city to help us promote what we have already and to get the tourism into downtown New York City to see our music. You know, welcome to New York. Why don't you come downtown and meet the next Bono or whatever? You know, so need to promote what our city is. And we have a big group of people who are trying to, uh, actually it's not a big group, it's a small group of people who are really trying to build this conversation with our politicos and trying to get a music commissioner in New York City who will oversee um, all of these efforts and try to offer incentives and stuff to our musicians in New York. Because if you can believe this, New York City doesn't have a music commissioner. And the reason we don't have a music commissioner is because nobody asked for one. And it wasn't until recently, until this, this group that we have in New York City, 
you know, finally came to the terms of the fact that, my God, why, what's going on with our business? We're, having, we're in a crisis situation in New York City. Many people are leaving. They're going to Los Angeles and Nashville to find work. It's become so expensive. So we're have a grassroots efforts of trying to build business in our city uh, so that we can sort of sustain and make a living so our creative people can make a living. And part of those efforts is to try to get incentives um, from the government to uh, give people tax breaks for recording music in New York City. And that's something that also that you can do here in Columbus is try to get you know, your, city, your city involved with, by offering incentives, tax breaks for people that are creating music in Columbus, who are building businesses in Columbus. If music dealers decide to come into Columbus and start a business, you know, offer them their business taxes for free for a number of years so they can get their feet wet and really develop a business. Um, it's a lot easier said than done. It takes, it takes uh, more than just a village to, to make this happen. But this, just to let you know, we're doing this in New York City. You, you would have thought that would have been in place years and years ago. Many cities are very successful at this. Louisiana is successful, Austin, Texas. Texas is successful at it. California has a number of tax incentives as well. And New York is working on it. And maybe Columbus, Ohio. Brooke, let me, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, when you talk to people about the uh, potential uh, unfair competitive advantage that Columbus might have, does anybody ever identify music? Is that, uh, uh, I've not heard that one yet. Um, they talk about arts and creativity generally, um, and a lot of that seems to focus around design. Uh, as you look at you know fashion design, interior space design, graphic design, CCAD, the really strong programs at Ohio State University, the students that are coming out of there, uh, all of the stuff in the, you know, the especially retail that we have here in town. Um, I've, I've heard across the board a number of things, uh, but I think part of it is, to Randy's point, is putting that out there that we are a music city um, and own it. A uh, piece of that is that we have a phrase in, in my world, I work with people that are starting very early ventures, you have fake it till you make it. And we've already, may have already made it, we're just not marketing it. Uh, that may be the case. I, I know in talking with uh, other folks in the tech space that do the work that I do, uh, we get held up and compared to Silicon Valley or LA or Silicon, uh, Silicon Alley in New York or Austin. And, and this may be just us deluding ourselves, but we say we're just not, we're just not out there promoting ourselves. I mean, Silicon Valley and San Francisco does an amazing job of marking the hell out of usually kind of sometimes really dumb ideas. But, and, and just stupidly huge valuations on these dumb ideas, but they're so amazing at it. And I think that's one aspect. I think the other aspect is that for, for music is, or, or anything that we want to have as our, sort of our, uh, our brand that we're known for, is the realization that other communities, New York, LA, Austin, whatever, they've been at this for a long time. They have a concerted effort around uh, identifying their communities as creative, artistic, technologically forward, whatever they brand it as, and it wasn't, it isn't something that happens overnight. It's something that takes a concerted effort by a large number of people to create the community and the ecosystem, and it takes that marketing piece, I think. Uh, you know, in, in my world, you know, the, the one everybody compares to is, you know, Silicon Valley. It's the world of Google and Facebook and Apple and all that good stuff. People, and then they say, well, why aren't we like that? Well, one, there's only gonna be one of those. Two, they've been at it since 1948 and a concerted, focused effort around information technology. So I think it, it takes that focused, concerted effort and taking the base that we have here, which I believe is very strong, things like 1025 and uh, Songwriters Association and all the great venues that we have. You, you rattled several off. I, I know several more, and there's so many, right? So many great ones and so many great bands. Uh, just making that investment in building the infrastructure, building out that ecosystem, doing the marketing, and then knowing that it's a long-term effort and that we're in it for the long haul because this is one of the things as a community that we're gonna invest in. And I think the kind of the good news here is that, I mean, all of those cities that we're talking about that have are known for music, New Orleans, New York, you know, Austin, they, it all starts with the scene, right? It starts with the music scene. like. There's a bunch, there's a whole scene, everybody's, you know, there's a lot of creativity coming out, and the, the product, the music, is fantastic. So that's already happening here. So that's the good news. So it's really about how do we keep, how do we create, how do you create, you know, uh, bands that become worldwide or nationally known, 
um, but also uh, help them stay here and not have to leave. And then they can be advocates for this city, you know, that you, you love a band and you find out they're from Columbus and then oh, all of a sudden there's like a bunch of bands that are from Columbus. Like there must be something in the water there, you know? So it's like, it's about like, you, got, you guys have the, the product, it sounds like, uh, but it's about you know, how do we get that recognition um, and get the word out about it.